<laughs> hey dudes, my name's Blakeo, and I've been continuing my journey of developing my indie VR game, so I wanted to give you guys a little update. Imagine, the faint sound of an emergency alarm rings in the distance. It gradually gets louder. Is it getting closer? Or is it just taking time for your ears to adjust to the room? The room? Your eyes open. A warm red glow fills a small dimly lit room. The light fades in and out to the steady cadence of the alarm. What's going on? How long have I been out? And why am I here? What is here? Heavy machinery engulfs the foreign surroundings of the encapsulating space you've now found yourself in. Something's wrong. A faint flicker in the corner of the capsule catches your eye. A fading projection displays one word. Disconnected. Disconnected from what? You find yourself drawn towards the familiar but alien terminal standing before the hologram. A large handle protrudes from the metal surface. You pull it. The hum of the machine before you comes to a halt. As darkness consumes the space, a calming sensation fills your mind as the alarm bell and everything surrounding you powers down. You push the lever back up. The dink Hello. A voice seemingly comes from your own head, but it isn't from your own mind. I am your icon or artificial intelligence companion. It seems that I've been offline for a long time. I can't seem to connect to the main terminal. You've certainly been asleep for a long while. <laughs> the voice explains your situation. You were selected to be an inhabitor of this planet once terraforming has been completed. Your pod, or seed, was one of many that landed while you were in cryosleep and has been planted gradually falling beneath the terraformed surface, awaiting the signal to emerge. But it seems something went awry. You've been asleep much longer than was planned, and without a connection to the main terminal, it's unknown as to why. You'll need to use the emergency escape tools to try to find your way to neighboring seeds, or the main terminal, to find out what happened and what your future holds. So yeah, that's basically the picture that I want to paint for how the game will open. That's why you've seen me working on this initial pod space and the initial mechanics for the game. But uh, at this point, I've only implemented the basic digging system, where you have a shovel and you can dig some dirt. But there'll be a lot more to it than that. First of all, as a player, you need some way of knowing your status. I mean, you can't just dig a bunch of dirt without putting it anywhere. You've got to have some sort of inventory. But not just inventory, you also need to know your health and energy usage. So what would that look like? Like this. In the Godot XR Tools plugin, there's an object, Viewport 2D and 3D, that basically lets you throw any UI scene that would normally look like a 2D menu into the 3D world. So for status, I decided to put it on the player's wrist, since it's easy to just look down to see where everything's at. And I ended up just designing it with the built-in 2D designer, using the different control objects for my layout. Status bars that are just a rectangle are kind of old school, and I wanted something different, so I made my progress bars circular by using the texture progress object and setting the fill mode to clockwise, so as the bars filled up, it will fill in a clockwise direction. Alright, cool. So I have my status on my wrist, but it kind of just floats there. So to be a little more realistic, I opened up Blender and designed a wrist mechanism for the screen to be attached to. It's pretty simple, but it makes a little more sense. Once I finished the model, I UV unwrapped it and created a simple texture for it in GIMP. Basically, it's just a metal wristband, but with a glass piece for the screen. I attached it to my hand object so it follows the movement of the player, and I think it turned out alright. Sweet, so I can see my status, but for now, it doesn't actually do anything. So I wrote up some code to make my inventory increment whenever I dig blocks. I just keep my player stats in a global script to make it easy for all my objects to change the player's status values. Alright cool, so it's hooked up, let's go try it out. So when I break these dirt blocks, my inventory readout increases, and once it gets full, I can't dig anymore since I don't have any more room. 
Wait, what do you do with all the dirt when you don't have any more room? Right. So I opened up Blender again to make a machine that could destroy dirt. I kind of modeled it after a trash compactor and a fume hood combined. Once I got the model done, I UV unwrapped it and opened up GIMP to make a texture for it as well. Cool. So I have a machine, but how do I use it? Well, I need a lever. Or something else, but probably a lever. So I modeled up a lever in Blender, but for the lever to work, a player would reach their hand out and pull the lever down. So how do I do that? Well, I decided to add an animation for the lever where there's only two states, up or down. So the animation is added in Blender as just one keyframe for two different animations. Then in Godot, I just set up an animation tree to blend the animation together. So depending on how much blend value is set determines how far the lever is pushed down. Finally, I wrote up some code for when a player's hand is touching the lever, it increases the blend amount, which pushes the lever down. And when the player is not touching it, the lever comes back up. So the result is that the lever follows the player's hand as they push down on it until it reaches the final point, which would activate the machine. All right, so we have a machine and a lever, and we combine them to make the trash be gone. What is a trash be gone, you ask? Well, you put stuff into it and it makes it be gone. You eat some Mickey D's and you have leftover trash to throw away? Put it in the trash be gone. You order too many things from Amazon and you got lots of boxes? Put them in the trash be gone. You make a bet with your friend that you can beat him in a game but he cheats? Put him in the trash be gone. You get stuck in a tiny pot a mile beneath the surface so you end up having to dig your way out and now you have lots of dirt and you don't know what to do with it? Put it in the trash be gone. Alright, so you get the idea. At this point my game is starting to actually turn into a real game. So this is what it looks like so far. I can go off and start digging into the dirt, which fills my inventory. And once the inventory is full, I can walk back over to the trash be gone and pull this giant lever, which empties out all the dirt and makes it be gone. Then I can go back and rinse and repeat. Of course this won't be the entire game, since that would just be kind of repetitive, but it feels pretty good to at least have a major mechanic of the game implemented. Alright dudes, that's all I got so far. See ya!